notification and off went my phone. I don't know what's up with this phone. I had to go into settings and dig around. Chris couldn't find it for some reason when I started typing in messages. It repeated everything. I don't even like, the, you know, the little keyboard tap, tap, tap noise. So, um, I got that fixed. And now every time I get a notification or something, it throws me off of whatever I'm doing. So, I'll have to go back in and see what's going on. I let my grandson use my phone a couple days ago because he left his with his girlfriend. So, and he loves to change the brightness and all of that kind of stuff. And, yeah, I had to go in and fix the brightness. He forgets I'm old. I can't see it, you know. Plus, these cataracts I got. When I see the doctor on the 5th, we're going to have to talk about that because it's uh, getting a little rough to focus on anything. I don't even like driving anymore. Um, but during the day, hubby's working, and um, today's a very busy day for him, so there's no way I could have him drive me. So, my arm, the swelling is coming down. Um, it started itching last night. So, about 3 o'clock in the morning, I took my first dose of the dose pack instead of waiting until this morning. Um, so I got on top of the itching. It's still swollen. And of course, it's going to be that way. It was, it was pretty messed up. Um, and the bruising is... That's why I have long sleeves on today. Yeah. So, anyhow, it'll be okay. I just hate having to rely on steroids. I don't like the way they make me feel. And uh, the uh, nurse practitioner over at the uh, emergency clinic told me, she says, it gets any worse, go to the hospital. She said, I don't see things like this on an average day. She says, I've never seen hives like you have. And I said, well, I hadn't either till I got bit by the rooster. I said, and ever since, I've had these horrifying hives that come out of nowhere and attack me at a weak spot and I had blood drawn so apparently my body thought you know something was going on there and it started on the bottom of my foot then I went to get the blood work and bam and it went from oh god the biggest part of my bicep almost to my wrist um, before the steroids uh, started kicking in so he's got to figure out who it is that can find. Because I got my blood work back already. Everything's good. My liver functions are high. But we've known about that for a couple years. But they're just getting worse. So we need to figure out what that is. And my A1C. Usually it's around 5, 5.1. Well, it's 5.7. But I've been eating a lot of junk. I haven't gained any weight. Um... And 5.7 is the cutoff. Anything under 5.7 is good. If you're at 5.7 or above, you're high. It used to be 6.7. What the hell happened there? I'm not worried about that either because my fasting blood, blood sugar was 93. So, um, But I do have... That guy's got plants stuck in the side of his car hanging out of the door. Um, anyhow, um, I'm not worried about my blood sugars. Um, we just need to figure out what's going on. I think the liver is because of all the stomach surgeries and the um, taking out of the stomach and part of my intestines. And so, and I don't have a gallbladder anymore. And so I'm sure that all comes into play together. I don't have a whole lot left in, in there anymore. So. But I was happy with all my blood work, you know. Um, all my levels were like spot on. All my uh, red cells, white cells, uh, my thyroid. My thyroid's back in line. But you know what? I haven't been taking that second pill at night. Yeah, he said I needed that second pill because I had an underactive thyroid. Yeah, so I took it for a while. And I have it in my nighttime medicines, but I usually skip the night times. I'm supposed to be taking shit three times a day, and it's... I've been doing it once, you know, because I feel good, and my blood work comes out fine. So, you know, I take my all my vitamins and stuff, so I'm not going to overtax myself with shit I don't need. So I got so sick to begin with years ago. It just 
just started, you know, medicine, 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 uh, steroids. Oh, no, now she's diabetic because of all the steroids and, yeah, five insulin shots a day and, yeah. I haven't touched insulin in, oh, my God. Five years? Five, six years? Five years? At least five years. Yeah. Gone. Just like that. I didn't need it. I didn't need it. Five shots a day. I don't know anybody that does five shots a day. But yeah, they had me a mess. And that's why I'm so scared of the steroids. Because that's what part of what screwed up my blood sugar before. But there's no other treatment at this time that I can do because antihistamines and things like that don't work. My body is attacking itself and its weak points. When I come into contact with whatever, I still think it's from the, this is still episodes from the um, uh, rooster um, because I never had um, hives like I have, like I have them, you know, little one on my waist or, you know, and, and they were always around scar tissue and, but they were small and, you know, my dad had them, my grandson, you know, so probably genetic, but these big ones, I never had anything in my life like this until that rooster got a hold of me. Yeah. So, it is what it is, you know. I don't think I can hold her responsible for that any more than I can get a copy of a signed 1099 from her. I've requested it twice. I didn't sign a 1099. And I need something to take to Social Security. Uh, so we can figure out if I owe any taxes. I probably don't, but I still need to go. I don't think she wants them requesting that signed a copy of a 1099 and after I got to read she's trying to 1099 me which means I was my own boss and got to come and go and do things as I felt like I was an independent con no I was told when to be there I was told what to do I was told how to do it so I don't know why she's avoiding that well I don't even want to go there that was such a horrible and what, what, the shit I found the last day I worked ever want my name associated with. Not an honest, upright, whatever you want to call it, company. There was a lot of deceit in that company. So, I'm glad I'm gone. But anyhow, that's over. That's neither here nor there. I went home and told hubby about the bagel shop. And he's, no, honey, no, no, honey. He says, if you want to do something, do volunteer work where, you know, if you can't make it, you can't make it. I said, you don't get it. It's still a commitment. If I say I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there. I said, so at least I can make some money so I can pay for my gas to show up. You know? So, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. I told him if I go back again and that sign's still up, I'm going to ask her what hours she needs help for. I don't want to work all those hours. I just want a couple hours of breakfast or lunch time, you know, whatever. Just something to do. Oh, shit, there's Applebee's already. How am I going to get in there? I guess through here. That's where I'm meeting Susan. There's Applebee's. And, um, well, we'll see what we see. I don't, what the hell is going on with this traffic? Okay, I'm going. Everybody else can sit still. So anyhow, um, let's pull in and see if she's here. I think she drives like a gray SUV. I think that's her there. I'm not sure. Oh, no, that's not her. I don't think she's here yet. So, I will sit here and wait for a couple minutes. Put up my, my I can park here sign. 
Okay, so I don't see her yet, but it's like 10 till 12, so it looks like they're doing some work on this road. And it looks like that guy dumping in that dump truck is going to dump that dump truck right over on its side. Sorry about that. I was getting a telemarketing phone call. That's why I don't answer this phone much. I use my other phone because I've had this phone for, for sorry, I'm looking around for Susan. I've had this phone for so many years that that's where all the telemarketers and all the bullshit calls <coughs> go to this number. I might one day just dissolve it, but I hate to. I've had this number for mm, 30 years, maybe. Looks like it's going to rain. Looks like it's going to rain. I haven't been to this Applebee's in a long time. I was here a few years ago. I'm not a fan of Applebee's. But it was like the middle place between us. I'd have rather went to McDonald's than Applebee's. And I'm going to have to pay a ridiculous price for a lunch that I probably am not going to eat. But that's okay. I think she drives a silver. I think. I don't know. I haven't seen her in several months. So. Um, or maybe it's this blue one coming in. I don't know. I know if I saw it, I would know her. I'm just not sure. That's a Lexus, I don't think. Actually, I don't even know what it is she owns. So, all right, let me get off of here. That way, when she pulls in, I'm, uh, I think that's her anyhow. All right, guys, I'll be back after we've had lunch. Um, have a good morning. Do something for you. Have your coffee, breakfast, early lunch, brunch. I'm out of here. I'll be back later. See ya. Push my buttons. Hi, everybody. How are you? I am back. I'm getting ready to head home because the sky is getting ready to open up. And I had a wonderful lunch today with Susan. Um, totally, totally different person than at work, but I can kind of see why with all the stress we both had when we were there. And um, we had a great time. Oh, shoot. I better put my seatbelt on now, huh? I know anybody yelling at me. So, yeah, it was. we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. We're going to go to Wesley Chapel over there to a... Um, a uh, place where they have vinegars and olive oils and do some tasting. Where is this person in the car going? Almost ran into me. Um, yeah, we're going to do some things. She's really a nice person. Um, it was just the whole situation over that way wasn't good. Had a great lunch. I had um, chicken quesadillas. We came, Boy, that sky is bad. We came to Applebee's and... Uh, I even got my lunch bought for me. I didn't expect that. So I need to stop at the grocery to pick up some coffee creamer. But the way that sky's looking coming off that golf, I don't think I'm going to. Because I'm not going to get soaking wet. So, yeah. Um, it was a real nice lunch. Real nice. I'll do that again. And we talked about all kinds of things and... You know, just, um, it was enjoyable. I'm, I'm very happy. So, I'm going to head home. Let me see if I can turn this around where you can see the sky in front of me. You see that sky? That's what I'm driving into to go home. Winn-Dixie. Where is the Winn-Dixie? You know what? I'm not even going to try to hit the Wind dixie I'll go later and get coffee creamer. I'm not getting out in this mess. Look at that. It's terrible. Okay, I'm going to turn it back around on me. I'll flip it around. So, yeah, that was really nice. I really, really enjoyed that. You know what? I'm going to go Spring Hill Drive. I'm not going to go this way. I'm going to go a different way. Um, funny how your perceptions on things change a lot. She's a very nice down-to-earth person. We were talking, she has 10 acres um, over towards, I think, Dade City. And, uh, 
I'll probably go over there one day and see her. I've invited her over to my house. Um, yeah. I'm glad we didn't lose touch. Totally, totally different. Whole different situation with her and I. Um, no stress, I think, is what it is. I always liked her. It just everything was upside down at that place. So... Is what it is. Maybe I can get over here to this wind Dixie. I don't know. I'm driving right into this mess. And I think the coffee creamer can wait till tomorrow. That stuff is right over the top of my house going that way. It must be hubby to see what he has to say. This is fixing to get real shitty outside. Be careful. Yeah, I'm driving right into it, babe. I'm not even going to stop at the store. I'm coming home. I can get coffee creamer later or tomorrow. Okay, I don't usually do that when I'm driving, but I know he'll worry if he knows I'm on the road right now. <clears throat> I'll flip it around again in a minute when I start heading back into this. What a mess. We weren't supposed to have bad weather today. That, oh, that weather man, honest to be. You know what? I'm just going to take everything he says in the opposite direction because that's the way it happens. Yeah, let me turn this around so you can see this sky. It's really bad. It's worse when I start heading, I'm heading north. Um, let me pick this up off of this and show you this sky. Look at this sky. That's not good when you live this close to the Gulf. And it appears that's the direction it's coming from. So, let me flip this. Yes, I, I need to pay attention to where I'm going. I knew to bring an umbrella, but I didn't bring my big one. I brought a regular size one, you know, in case it did spittle a little bit. But um, this umbrella wouldn't do me a bit of good. I really wanted to stop at that store. Please. Okay. Let me go this way. And let me go this way. Oh, good. I got one right up front. I'm going to run in and get what I need and get the hell out. All right, guys. I'll be back. Pray for me. I don't get rained on. All right. See you in a few. Okay, everybody. I'm back. I ran in the store and I got four bottles of coffee creamer. And uh, two packages of, uh, they're not chocolate eclairs because they don't have the pudding stuff in them. They have whipped cream kind of stuff in them, but they're not round like a cream puff. Cream puffs usually don't have chocolate on them, but these are about this long. And they've got the real light fluffy cream in them and the chocolate. I love them. And when dixie is usually... The um, only place you can find them, well, the last couple weeks, I went in a Winn-Dixie about two weeks ago, and they had them, but it had the chocolate cream in them, and I didn't want that. I wanted the white cream. It's not really a, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not the pudding kind of um, stuff. And I know what it's called, and I can't get it out right now. Um, anyhow... They had the chocolate, so I did. So every Win Dixie, I've even stopped at Win Dixie's that I never go to, um, to see. Gosh, wind got my hair. To see if they had them, and nobody has had even the chocolate ones. So I've never. Well, I can't say I've never been to the, this Win Dixie. I've shopped at this Win Dixie over here a couple times, and I love this store. It's spotless. It's always well stocked. I don't know why I don't come over here. It's not that far. I went in, and I'll be darned. Bad. Let me see if I can 
here, I grabbed the bag. Um, they call them eclairs, New York style eclairs, but they don't have the pudding kind of stuff in them. They're, I don't know what you call it, but it's not the, like the vanilla pudding in them. Um, those kind I'll eat if that's all I have, but I don't particularly care for those ones. Anyhow, so I got two packs of those. So I'll go home and stick them back in the freezer. So now I have plenty of, um, we'll call them eclairs for the sense that's what it says on the package, but um, they don't have like Boston cream usually in eclair. We'll have, they don't have that. So, and I've got four bottles of sweet Italian cream creamer. It was on sale. I've got a full one at home. I've got two bottles of hazelnut creamer. I used to use that all the time. But then when I got hooked on the sweet Italian cream, I think I'm hooked on that more than I am the coffee. You know? Um, so, yeah. So, I got it. No rain. Let me turn this around and I'll show you the sky I'm driving into. Up a little bit. This is a little low. See this sky? That's where I'm driving into. It's pretty black. You can't even see it on this camera as black as it is. So that's what's happening with that. I sent Hubby a message told him I wasn't stopping, but then I decided to at the last minute because I beat the rain. Whoa, big truck pulls out in front of you. You don't want to go past him, do you? But I do. That's what I do. Everybody was balling up. I'm going to get around that mess. Okay. See, I got a good little car here. This little shit will shit and get when you need it to. Um, so, yeah. I'm headed home. That's where I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay put. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't really have any chores. I'll do laundry. That's what I'll do. I'll do laundry and figure out what I'm going to do with all the leftovers in the fridge for dinner tonight. I was going to make hubby a, a um, Philly cheesesteak sub, but I got other leftovers that need to be handled first. So, he'll get that tomorrow. And life is good. It's been a good day so far. I really had a nice lunch today with Susan. I really did. I guess you get with people on different levels of life or circumstances or whatever. It makes a whole different, a whole different thing. So, we're good. Her and I are great. We're good. Oh, there's the new fire station that they put over here. They're building a new one by my house, which is only like three blocks from my house. Um... But they tore it down and didn't warn anybody. And I, I don't know if the buildings are up yet or not. But it's been going on over a year. I always felt so safe because they were so close, you know. But they'll be back. So, yeah. I'm going to go home. Put my stuff away. And um, see if hubby wants his other half of this quesadilla that I didn't eat. And, uh, I don't know what Tired because the steroids had me so wired. Just a couple hours sleep of that. But I'm wired too, you know, if that makes any sense. I'm exhausted, but I'm wired. I can't stop. And when I get home, I have to take another pill. Because it's, today it's two, two before breakfast. I took those. And one after lunch, one after dinner, and two at bedtime. And then tomorrow it's like five pills instead of six or whatever I'm taking today. And it weans off. There's like 21 of them total. But man, I'm going to be wired for... Ugh. So, and today's a screwed up day or I could be outside doing shit, you know, and using up some of this false energy that I'm getting. It is okay because I'm almost home 
and I think I'm going to just skirt right along the edge of this bad weather um, because it's right to the west of me like another two blocks over and um, here let me hold this up you can see the maybe let me flip it around dude that's kind of stupid all right let me get around this corner yeah see that sky it's like right to the west of me by blocks but we're that close to the golf too so but yeah, this is our sky that we're dealing with. Let me put this back down. And I'm uh, fucking with it while I'm driving. That's stupid. I know better. Um, I don't know how anybody can drive and constantly text. I can't do that. I just, uh, no. I can't do that. I'd be in somebody's house if I did. So. We're behind the gravy train because everybody's going to go slow because the wind's blowing. Hmm. And there's a gated community between here and my house, so I can't like cut off in these roads right here. I can up here a little ways, but I got to wait till I get past the gated community, you know. The gated community that anybody can get into. I never figured that one out. Oh, there's a new house. That's pretty. They are building so many new houses around here. And I don't know why. I don't know why they don't rehab the older ones. And put those on the market instead of let them sit in here empty. There's some pretty houses there too. Those are all new. I wonder when they're going to be breaking ground on the three on the other side of the street from me. That just makes me so pissed off. So mad. We might end up moving the RV back over to the other side. We'll shove the shed back a couple feet, put the RV on the other side, and put a privacy fence up on the street side. <sighs> Hubby's talking about putting the uh, RV back, moving the shed back, and putting the RV back over there just to piss off Goldilocks next door because he don't like her either. Let her keep complaining. There's nothing she can do about it, you know? I'd rather it was on the other side. That way I could see it, you know, more. Because I'm on that side of the house more often than I am on the other side. Ooh, ooh, that squirrel. Rotomon isn't real busy. Daltona, it's not busy, but I can cut through here and the right and the left and I'm home. Boy, the sky. Let me turn it around and show you what's going on. Look at the sky. It's coming off the gulf like that. Yeah, let me put this back down. I'm coming up on this place here where no bet you know where the traffic's going and there's a two-way stop here and people that have the stop signs don't stop and yeah it's crazy oh i meant to tell anybody that ladies you probably don't care but fellas that are watching if you ever need to put new light bulbs in an older car <laughs> if you put the leds in which is what my husband did that's why they sound like they're clicking so fast but they work fine it throws error messages. My, when my nephew was over the other day, he was checking my car to make sure everything was good. And he's like, holy shit, Aunt Becky got all these error messages. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He says, your turn signals. And I said, my turn signals, they work. <coughs> and then I said, oh, but I said, we changed the bulbs and I know we put LED. Oh, okay, Aunt Becky, that's what did it. LED bulbs. I no, don't come to my house Mr. Windows. Um, so, anyhow, that and my um, um, catalytic converter was throwing some messages, but it hasn't come back on. He cleared it, but I knew about my catalytic converter because when we, um, there's a couple parts on the car that we had to replace a couple times, 
and they work against your catalytic converter but he cleared it and um things haven't come back on yet so all right let me get in the house before it starts raining guys i'll be back thanks for riding with me i love you push my buttons i'll be back hey y'all i'm home and boy did i get here just in the nick of time i know you can hear the thunder but let me show you what just happened to my beautiful clean swimming pool look at this look at this i've got the full sweep going now look at that came off of that up there right into my beautiful perfectly clean pool that i've been working on i am so pissed right now but i got home in the nick of time got everything done i needed to and the sky opened up sure did my kayak over there now it's going to get full of water again i was going to work out here today well i guess that's not happening <laughs> look at my pool oh oh i got the pool sweep going but it's just getting worse by the minute yeah okay that's the job for when it quits right the whole thing is getting engulfed at first it was just around the edges now look at that so my pool sweep, that's my new pool sweep my husband bought me. Because the other ones just didn't want to work right. And it'll clean it up, but it's just, look at it. You can watch it. It's coming all the way across the pool now. Well, that ain't enough to aggravate the fuck out of me. I came out here and moved the chairs away. Um, hold on, guys, from the edge. I'm going to sit out here and watch the TV. He's tying up loose ends. Sorry, guys, I know my hands in the way. He's tying up loose ends. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you. I had to pull the chairs in there from, from the edge, so we're kind of like in the middle of the floor here. But that's okay, because I'm going to have my coffee and watch TV. Yeah, on my pool. Oh, my word. I haven't had a chance to... Um, something to stick this phone on mark with me haven't had a chance to get out there and you know blow it around and stuff and john was up there cleaning gutters so you know some of that stuff is sitting there and where's my phone? oh here it is so yeah that's where we're at now i don't even look like i was out and about today i look like i got caught in the rain but i didn't i walked in the door set my stuff down and put it away and I told hubby, I said, I stopped at the store anyhow, and I got lucky. Um, I made it all the way home without any rain. But now, mm, oh well. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. And again, off went my phone, but that's all right. Got it back on, and hubby's good at putting them together now, so. The pool, look what's happening. Uh, it'll be clean by the end of the day, but it's just, I had it so spotless and chemicals in it and ready to go and just had to clean up the old hoses and stuff and see the old sweep. See, there's two of them over there. See them? I don't know if he's, where's my finger at? I don't know. Full sweep. There. There they are. One, two. Right over there. Yeah. They're useless, so. I'm a fool. Ugh. Oh, well. It's noisy out here, but I'm good with that. Let's see if this phone holder is going to work. Electronics are good. I'm going to sit out here and let it rain, you know? Hopefully you can hear me. I'm going to turn the TV on. We'll watch some YouTube. That's my favorite TV. Feeling a little anxiety right now. But I think all the cats are in except for Bear Manilow. I went to get him and it was raining and I didn't see him. So he's probably under the RV or under the boat. <coughs> all the cats made their way in the house. A lot of noise out here. I'm surprised Snapper's not losing his mind because he don't like thunder at all. 
but boy, the anxiety, this storm and everything that fast happening has created. Woo! And then seeing my pool like that, that just makes me want to cry. But it, it's cleanable, so um, that's not a difficult thing to do. I just, it'll get me clean by tonight. But boy, this, this rain really rolled in fast. Ooh. Crash, crash. Let's uh, put this over here. Come on. There we go. So, it's been a, it's been a good morning. I just, uh, it's the steroids that's making me feel a little edgy. Um, but my arm, it's still swollen. Pretty messed up. See that? And it's still, you can see it's still swollen, but it's not as bad as it was. And it doesn't itch. Oh, shoot. I gotta take another pill here. Alright, guys, walk with me while I go in and get one. It's time. Get out from underneath my feet, though. <clears throat> take one after. Um, Lunch. Let's find him. Let's find him. This weather, man. We were supposed to have good weather today. What the hell? He. I don't know. I don't get it. Let's see. Okay. So I took two before breakfast. Well, I took two before lunch. And one after lunch, one after supper, and two at bedtime. Then tomorrow it's one, 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 and then two at night. And then the third day, it's before breakfast, after lunch, after supper, bedtime. Well, you know how they go, see? Until you get down to just the one. And in the meantime, I'm going to be wanting to pull my freaking hair out. I don't like the way steroids make me feel. And mess with the serotonin and all that kind of shit in your brain, you know? And I'm already adult hyperactive, so I don't need any help. But, it is what it is. How much money did I save today when I went to Winn-Dixie? Let's look at this receipt. Because the creamer was, uh, oh my god, my pool. Creamer was on sale two for seven. And um, then my, of course, the, the Claire things that I got, they weren't on sale. They were like $5.99, I think. So, let's see. I got two of the um, cream sticks and four of the coffee creamers and I paid $25.98. I saved $5.56. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I saved that $5.56 on the creamer, so... I think I need that light on that bright, but I don't think I need it. Let's see. Let me turn it off. We'll see if we need it. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think we need it. <sighs> Snap or go. Go either go in the house or I'm not holding you. No. Okay. Pills taken. I can't believe this. this is my, oh my god, the whole pool. I gotta show you. The whole flipping pool now. Look it. My nice blue swimming pool. This is terrible. The cleaner will clean it because it cleans the bottom and the top. Then I got to go back out and put more chemicals. I never got the stones over there that were extra picked up from there. And my tools and stuff are, I was going to work out here today, but I guess I got to look at this mess and until the rain stops. 
Oh, I'm dying over my pool. <laughs> it gives me such anxiety. I can't even tell you how much it gives me anxiety. To look at that pool like that. It's cool out here though. I might have to get a jacket or a blanket. Snapper, go in the house now. Go now. I'm not going to listen to it, buddy. Go in the house. Go. Go on. Go. Lightning's not going to get you. Go. Junior is falling anyhow. So, yeah, that's my day today. And let me light some candles here for ambiance and pretty smells. I think it's a lighter delight. Doesn't want to work half the time. Okay. This candle's burnt down most of the way. I love this. It's sweet sugar lemon. It's mainstay, so I'm going to guess that was a Walmart. It says it's got lemon, lime, and sugar cane. I like the smell of the lemon. And then I have my little Coleman citronella candle in case a mosquito decides it wants to come visit. Yeah, maybe. I don't know why my lighter is messing up like this. Fire. There's, there we go. There's, and it's got spark, and I just filled it with fluid yesterday. Temperamental. It don't like the rain either, I guess. Junior, go lay down, buddy. I'm right here. I'm right here. Nothing's gonna hurt you. Okay, what are we gonna want? I've been watching this woman on YouTube. Welcome. Welcome back. It's Sorry. called um, Southern Frugal Mama. $45 grocery budget feeds her family for six days. I watched her last night and she fed them for several days on $25. There's her, three boys, and her husband. So that's what, five of them. And she bought things at all these. And I think it was Dollar Tree and made some decent meals. Some of this stuff I didn't know what it was. And some of it I wouldn't eat. But she took like three chicken breasts and filleted them real thin and beat them out and deep fried them and you know put other things with them and I was surprised so it says here $45 grocery budget makes 80 individual meals. I'm going to have to go back and watch this one. I don't, it doesn't look like the same one that I watched last night. I think this is different. But yeah, I couldn't believe she, although they eat some things that I wouldn't, and she bought like um, a bag of mixed vegetables frozen, and she took the carrots out, part of the carrots out for one thing, and part of the carrots out of that bag for another. And I get it, you know, why buy all of those if you don't want to cook them together? And then she took the broccoli out for one dish and the cauliflower. So she's giving me some ideas, not that I'm going to cheap out on the quality of food, but some ideas on how to scale back and use things for more than one thing. Um, because I've got to learn not to cook so much. I'm working on it. I'm doing better than I was. But, you know, when you're used to cooking for an army, It's hard to change, you know. It's just, I don't know what it's like to cook with a half a pound or just a pound of ground beef, you know. I wonder if that message was that came up on my phone. Let me see. I don't know. Anyhow, I'll check it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to watch her and see what she's doing. I'd love to know how to feed my family in forty-five dollars. Well, you know I probably could, because I can squeeze the shit out of a buffalo nickel. It's just that I've never really had to. Actually, when I was looking at, you'd be proud of me. I, when I was at Winn Dixie, get my coffee creamer and stuff. They've got um, prime rib on sale. Beautiful prime rib. Prime ribs that are normally like. Um, $90 are on sale for like $34, you know, per, per pound. I, I forget what, how much it was per pound. I don't have the flyer right in front of me. 
beautiful. And I'm standing there, I'm going through, and I'm looking at them, and I went, you know what? I have ribeye steaks in the freezer. As much as I love prime rib cooked, you know, on the rack. I was like, I don't need this. I couldn't believe I walked out of there without that prime rib. I would have never done that before. Especially at that price, you know. But I did. I sure did. But it's okay. Man, there's a lot of noise out there. I know y'all got to be able to hear this mess. I know you do. So, it's a beautiful day though. You know, I woke up. I woke up. It makes a beautiful day. Had lunch with my friends. Now I'm home where I'm safe. Now my grandson gets home. I'll feel even better. And uh, life's good. All right, guys. I think I'm going to sit here while there's not so much thunder and try to watch a little bit of TV because um, I can't do anything out here yet. It needs to stop raining. Oh, well. I guess it's the weatherman's way of telling me to take a day off. I'm good with that. I really am. Ah, the dog's must have left my house. Okay. Snapper? Oh, nope. Snapper's under my chair. He gets real excited when there's thunder. Yeah, I move, he'll move, you know. He won't go anywhere without me when it's like this. Snapper, come on. Get up here. Come on. Get up here. Little shit. You want to say hi to anybody? Here. Say hi. Snappy, say hi. Hey, stink eye. Well, he don't want to say hi. He wants to be difficult. That's okay. Ugh. You smell all doggy from getting wet. It's okay. Nobody's going to get you. Don't worry. All right, guys. Um, like I said, I'm out of here. I'm going to watch a little bit of her and see what she does with that $45 grocery budget for 80 meals. That makes it like, what, 50 cents a meal? How do you keep her own voice on that? All right, I'm going to watch this. I'll come back and I'll let you all know. All right, guys. Have a beautiful day. If it's raining where you're at, stay dry. Um, do something for you. I'm going to. I'm going to drink my coffee. And I'm going to watch this YouTube thing. And um, thanks for stopping. Push my buttons. And uh, of course I'll be back. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye. Okay, y'all. Don't pay attention to me. I'm taking the rest of the day off. But I wanted to give you an update on this pool. I am so fucking pissed off. Look at this. Look at what happened to my pool. They call that tannic. Because of the leaves and things that are on top of the cage. Well, there's not that many. But yeah, look what it did to my fucking pool. I am pissed off. Let me, let me take my socks off. I'll go out here because it's still raining to the deeper end and I'm just sick over this, I'm just sick. Look at this. I'm just sick and it probably got the turtle pond too. I just cleaned it. Not here in the rain, yep, look here. Jeez, I am so aggravated. Look at this. Oh my God, that's I know. I'm doing a video on it. it. Got the turtle pond too. This makes me sick. I just want to die. Aww. This morning it was blue as it could ever it was be. Beautiful. Yeah. Now look at it. I'm just sick. Oh man. Damn you, Mother Nature. Yeah. All right, guys. So I just wanted to give you an update on this shit. All right, I'll be back.